Hello, this is Tony Gaddis, author of Starting Out with Java. In this video, we're going to talk about simple math expressions. You perform mathematical calculations in Java using the arithmetic operator shown here on the screen. The plus sign performs addition. The minus sign performs subtraction. The asterisk performs multiplication. The forward slash performs division. And the percent sign performs modulus. Now, modulus is a division operation that returns the remainder of the division. And for that reason, sometimes the modulus operator is referred to as the remainder operator. We use these uh, arithmetic operators to write math expressions. Uh, for example, suppose we have a variable named total. And we want to store in the total variable the sum of price plus tax, two other variables. Well, we would write a, a statement like this, total equal price plus tax, and end it with a semicolon. So the expression that we have written with the math operator is this, price plus tax. This expression gives us the value of the price variable plus the tax variable, and then the assignment operator stores that value in the total variable. Here are some other examples of statements that use simple math expressions. In the first example, uh, discount is subtracted from price. And the result of that expression is assigned to the sale variable. In the next one, hours is multiplied by pay rate. And the result of that expression is assigned to gross pay. In the next one, total price is divided by units and the result is assigned to price each. And then the last example just illustrates how we don't always have to have an assignment statement uh, to use a math expression. Uh, in this example, pay and bonus are added and the result is displayed on the screen. You can write math expressions that use multiple arithmetic operators, and we have an example here on the screen where the outcome variable is assigned the result of the expression 12 plus 6 divided by 3. Well, what is the value of the expression 12 plus 6 divided by 3? Uh, to determine that, we have to know which one of the arithmetic operators will work first. Is it the addition operator or is it the division operator? Well, in C++, the multiplication, division, and modulus operators all have a higher precedence than the addition and subtraction operators. So these operators are evaluated first in an expression, and then these operators are evaluated. So let's see how that applies to this expression. First, 6 is divided by 3, and that gives us 2. And then 12 and 2 are added, and that gives us 14. So uh, in this statement, the value 14 is assigned to outcome. Of course, we can change the outcome by applying parentheses uh, to parts of the math expression. For example, if we inserted parentheses here, uh, in this case, the 12 plus 6 expression would be evaluated first, giving us 18, and then that would be divided by 3, giving us 6. So in this example, 6 would be assigned to the outcome variable. Well, here's an example that we can look at. In this program, we have the double variables Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and average. And the program assigns 100 to Monday, 200 to Tuesday, and 300 to Wednesday. Then we have this statement that supposedly calculates the average of Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And it does so by adding Monday plus Tuesday plus Wednesday. And we have that expression inside of parentheses. And then we divide that by 3. So that should give us the average which in this last statement is displayed on the screen. Now, can you look at this and predict what uh, the uh, output of the program would be? Well, it should be 200. Let's compile the program 
and run the program. And sure enough, it tells us the average is 200. But to show you the difference that the parentheses make, let's take the parentheses out. And now when this statement is executed, Wednesday is divided by 3. And then that result is added to Monday plus Tuesday. So let's compile this and run it. Now it tells us the average is 400. That's obviously an incorrect average. So it's important that you understand how precedence works with math operators and know how you can control the order in which operators are evaluated using parentheses. Before we conclude the video, there's one last thing that we need to discuss, and that's regarding the division operator. Take a look at this program. Here we declare a double variable named result, and then in this statement we assign result the value of the expression 5 divided by 2. We know mathematically that 5 divided by 2 is 2.5, so we would expect that 2.5 would be assigned to result and subsequently we would expect to see the message the result is 2.5 when we run the program. Well, let's run the program and see if that's what happens. Well, it's not. The program says the result is 2.0. The reason we get that is that in Java, when an integer is divided by an integer, the result is always an integer. Even if the result mathematically would have a fractional part, the fractional part is thrown away. That's called truncation. So if 2.5 is the answer that we get here, the 0.5 is thrown away and 2 is assigned result. Well, sometimes this is a convenient behavior, but what if we don't want this to happen? Well, we just have to make sure that at least one of these operands is not an integer. So we can change the 5 to 5.0 because the compiler considers any numeric literal that has a decimal point considers it to be a double. So here we're dividing a double by an integer. So let's recompile the program and see what happens. Now we get the uh, response that we expected. The result is 2.5.